we're about to attempt Europe's longest continuous climb. The sun's coming up over the mountains. We're starting with a pleasant descent from the Airbnb in Costa Deje down to Los Cristianos and round up under the highway where the Strava segment starts and the climbing begins. And oh wait, we're already too hot. It's time to remove the base layer and get a selfie. And now the proper climbing starts. You'll see we're about 40k from El Tidy. Tidy? Tidy? We're on an 8% gradient here and that'll vary between 5 and 10% for most of the first half. The next town we pass through is Arona, about 13k in, so we'll stop for the first coffee of the day. And a selfie. You'll see we've done about 15, 16k and have gained nearly 1,000 meters of elevation. By this point we've passed through Les Galona and it's starting to look a little bit alpine and we can see ahead the thick layer of cloud we'll be heading into. We'll take a stop in Villa Flor, the last town before the top, for a coffee and a comfort break and some photos. Now the last and hardest section of the climb, there's still more than 10k of distance. 600 meters of elevation to gain, but the thick cloud makes it kind of demoralizing when you can't see what's ahead. And we're knackered, so we need to get some energy bars in. And some photos. It's cold now as well, so we're just waiting for the gradient to tip over into the negative as we come around the ridge and start descending into the crater. And at this stage we're worried that the cloud is going to completely do for our views of Teddy and the selfies. Actually starts to clear a bit. And we start to see a bit of the lunar landscape we were promised as things start to flatten out around here. leave you with the sound of the road. Can't see the fabled Parador Hotel anywhere. We ask a passing Lotto Jumbo Pro who points ahead. Not before a little bit more climbing. But with the reward of the peak of Teddy popping over the ridge, there's the hotel and there's the photo very grateful for the canary and potatoes and coffees and more coffees and then by the time we start the return leg the cloud in the crater had cleared and again these descents back into the crater are glorious although I wouldn't believe that temperature data you're seeing there are over 2,000 meters of altitude here
long stop at the Terraria in Villaflor to warm up. Multiple coffees. Where we met Suzanne from Heidelberg in Germany, who joined us for the rest of the way back down to sea level. And once we got below Villaflor, it's pretty quick descent and the temperature increases quickly too. And it's a pretty sight with the sun setting over the Atlantic. Sunny apartment where we have very much earned dinner. 